I don't like it when people get when people get tumors. And I don't even like when I get to when I get a tumor. Kids with craniopharyngiomas have the worst quality of life of any pediatric brain tumor survivor. And that's one of the reasons that Morgan Adams is funding research for craniopharyngiomas and why we think craniopharyngioma research is so important. I learned about the CHIP program from Eli's oncologist, Nick Foreman. Well, my concept of the CHIP is that it's a way of accessing a vast amount of, of data about an individual's tumor. The CHIP program can allow physicians to better target therapy, um, and that targeted therapy not only improves their overall ability of survival, but it also has the potential to decrease really bad side effects. We arrive at the, the surgery with our liquid nitrogen container, and we take the tumor straight out of the patient and drop it into one of these and snap freeze it. We take the tumor and we go through a bunch of processes to extract RNA. And RNA is basically what your active genes are. So that's the code for your active genes. They can then inject it into the back of the port here on the chip and it'll sit on top of this glass square and that has uh, 50,000 different RNA sequences printed on it. The technology is a fluorescent technology so if the gene is really active, you'll get a brighter signal. If it's really low, you get a lower signal. And then we have a machine that detects the signal um, for each spot, for each particular gene. And that allows us to actually see the differences in fluorescence. And that tells us how much of any gene is active or not. And it's really about detecting whether the gene is active or not. It gives us essentially the fingerprint of that tumor and tells us potentially how we can treat it in the future and also can tell us possibly how we should treat it now. His tumor had been shipped so that they could look at the different genetic sequences and kind of understand better how the tumor grows and what different treatments can be used. This is how we develop the therapies. We collect the biology, we do the chip, we identify what potentially we should target and then try the agents against the tumor. The Morgan Adams Foundation has funded the CHIP program, which is changing the outcomes for kids right now. This isn't research that's coming down the pipeline that's going to help kids in 10 years or 5 years. This is helping kids now. There are kids that are alive today because of the CHIP program, and they wouldn't be otherwise, and I think that's pretty remarkable.